And our conversation on education continues right now. Joining me is Dr. Glenda Price. She is the president of the Detroit Public Schools Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us. And Thank also you. Carla Thompson. She's the vice president of program strategy at the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. Ladies, thank you so much for being thank here. You for Good to be here. You know, so many people are talking about education here at the mm -hmm. conference mm -hmm. and education reform. So I'm going to throw it out to you. I love when people say education reform because it means so many different things to so many different people. What does education reform actually really mean for us? Well, for me, education reform means putting in place the necessary strategies to ensure that every child learns and fulfills their full potential. So education reform is not one thing, it's a host of things that are going to make a difference in the academic preparation of every child. What does it mean to you? For me, it's the intentionality to constantly think about what can we do to better serve the children in our education system and how we can continue to offer support so that they can also be supported in their development. Mm -hmm. So we think about that and what can we do to, to make things better. And it would seem like such a simple explanation of what you said. We, we've got, got to make sure that all the moving parts are together, but not very easy to accomplish. No, it's not very easy to accomplish for a variety of reasons. People indeed have different agendas. They have different approaches. They have different ways of um, putting things in place. And sometimes they're very, there are very real conflicts that have to be resolved, but we seem not to be as intentional as Colin just said, in order to make sure that things happen. Uh, they don't just happen. You have to be intentional about it. What are the, some of the biggest, I guess, issues or the biggest conflicts that we're having when we want to make sure that the kids in Michigan are getting the best education possible, Carla? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's so much of a conflict or it's trying to reprioritize resources so that we can focus where children are struggling the most and make sure that the high quality programs and the financial mm -hmm. resources and the professionally trained staff are in those places to support those children. Okay, so let's talk about repurposing some of those resources. What would you like to see start to happen or where do you think the focus needs to be most? Well, this mm -hmm. conference has been talking about it all day and it's really the focus on early childhood education with yesterday's announcement of the 65 million serving 16,000 additional mm -hmm. young children. I think Michigan is working in the right direction. They're focusing on their youngest children, ensuring that they're in high quality early learning environments, which will lead to better educational outcomes in the long term. So their intervention strategy versus the prevention strategy. You know, it always... Or prevention versus <laughs> the intervention. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you see, what you just said is what I define as the conflict. Exactly. Because it is about reprioritizing. Yeah. It is about making different choices. And if I have been going down this path, and suddenly someone says, no, I have to go down that path, it creates dissonance, which is, in yeah. fact, a conflict. It, and so it's how do you bring people together to have those conversations so that you do go down the same path and understand that ultimately you're going to get to where you both want to be, but yeah. you have to figure out how Absolutely. to get there together. It's having transparency. But I would mm -hmm. also say though that everyone's kind of arguing for their piece of the pie. They all need the resources to make it happen, whether it's people who uh -huh. are championing K through 12 or someone saying, well, wait, early childhood, or people are saying, wait, we've got to put a little bit more funding into higher education. How do you reconcile all of those moving so we're actually all emphasizing for education as the whole and not just our own separate silos. Well, I think you have to have the long view as well as the holistic view. And one of the things that we have said at the Detroit Public Schools Foundation where early childhood is one of our priorities for funding, we've said if we invest early, then there will be sufficient dollars later on because you won't need remediation. You won't have some of the educational problems later in the system if you invest early. But it, um, you know, it's a hard it, sell. It, but, but the research is there, Carla. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we've been talking about this now for a number of years. Is it finally catching on that people are seeing that connection? Folks are absolutely seeing the connection to research to practice. Mm -hmm. They're seeing that high quality early childhood education programs are leading to better test scores in third grade, which is the first year that we mm -hmm. begin formally testing students. And they see that there's mm -hmm. an increase in math scores, that there's an increase in literacy, and that overall children are interacting well with each other. There's a connection between the teacher and the student. 
the teacher and the family and the entire community and the school building. So we're seeing the fruits of our labors in some key states across the country. Okay, and but we have a great start program here in Michigan Absolutely. and we are mm -hmm. going to get that funding, but there's still more funding can be needed to get many more thousands of kids who are eligible for those pre-K programs. And I think that's where you have your mm -hmm. public-private partnerships. The Kellogg Foundation is a key partner in Michigan. We fund $80 million a year across a number of initiatives focusing on educated kids, healthy kids, and secure families. And it's our mm -hmm. intention to be a good partner with the state of Michigan so that we can continue to serve more children, far more than the public resources can allow them to do at this time. And Dr. Price with the foundation in Detroit, you are looking to augment what's already happening in the, in the classroom. Absolutely. Our early childhood initiative, thanks to the generosity of PNC Bank, is looking at a very holistic approach to early childhood education in and out of the classroom. And there's also a parent component because you really have to have the entire family engaged in the process because so much learning occurs elsewhere, outside of that formal classroom. And so what we're looking to do is expand those opportunities outside of the classroom, as well as engage in a fair amount of professional development for teachers to help them to improve what goes on in the classroom. Carla, you get them, get them when they're mm -hmm. young, so you start Absolutely. them on the right track, that school exactly. is important, and to be there, what kind of resources are there for families? Well, we have the pre-K mm -hmm. initiative, which mm -hmm. then just started. We have a number of community-based child care programs that are available, some of which are very high quality, that are linking families in. There's Head Start, <laughs> Early Head Start. There's mm -hmm. Nurse Family Partnership, our home visiting program. So there's a number of programs in Michigan that are working to support young children, and it's about putting them all together and having the alignment of systems so that mm -hmm. more children can be served and served well. All right, ladies, mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining me. I so appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank, Thank you. you.